I'm Mike Ferguson. I guess you're here to do a documentary on me. I should probably start at the beginning. I was a bounty hunter. Got my own TV show called Manhunters. <laughs> Things changed with the world and my life. People weren't getting arrested anymore. So I had the opportunity to work with a lot of YouTubers and TikTokers. Man, was it a change? I'm Mike Ferguson. I'm the head of security here at Team Raw Man. What are you talking about? It's a porta potty. You gotta go, Mike. Mike. Please, it's our Mike. God. Mike, you're fired. You have to go. No. Just please go. We'll talk about it later, but you're fired. You gotta go. <sighs> I wasn't prepared for some of the things I was gonna have to do. <laughs> Things I was gonna have to see. <laughs> now, I'm trying to get back to being a professional. Doing what I do best, and that's bounty hunt. So follow me on my journey. Uh, meanest and strongest bounty hunter of them all. We are the prophets of doom. Woe to our foes that stand in our way. Wow. Well, you know how I met Carl. He trained my dad. He trained me for 20 years. How do I know Megan? I met her for a temp agency. She was highly, highly rated. Yeah. She takes care of everything for me. I give her my money. She handles my finance. I don't even know how much I pay her. But she does my laundry. Sometimes she cooks. She's not that great. But I don't tell her that. You know, it's, uh, yeah, she, she was really organized when I saw her doing, handle all my paperwork at my therapist. She better give me all 25. Ex-wife. You see, but you keep talking about your ex-wife. I mean, I want to hear about the other women. Let's take, for example, my secretary. She's in love with you. She's got a crush on you. What I want to know is, who's Mike Mike Ferguson's the guy that's trying to make up for all the past Mike Ferguson. Well, listen. Yeah, I uh, met her at my therapist's office. Yeah, and uh, you know, she, she, I really respected her because she knew everything about me and she wasn't scared. So I was like, yeah, I need somebody that I can trust. I trust her. So yeah, you met Carl. She gets along pretty good with him. Nice guy. I got Mike a job, a see. Not really, he's a terrible guy. But he did train me and my father. With the Buddha, you moved it. What? Who's the derelict in the knife? Derelict. That's Elvis Aaron Presley. He gave his life to ensure that we could all eat PB and J's with the crust cut off. So listen to that knife there. That was the knife. To cut the very last crust off the PB and J and banana sandwich of Elvis Presley ever ate. My daddy left it to me. Are you serious? Oh. What's up, buddy? You've been drinking again, huh? Yeah. Fabulous, Carl. Listen, man, you gotta be appropriate. Insert brand name here. Okay, guys, enough of the love fest. We gotta focus. We've got jobs coming in. When? I got Mike a job, a C. Wow, Carl, we actually agree on something. I am a hustler, and I have a boatload of jobs for Mike. We're gonna try it my way this time, because your way didn't work out so well. Hold on! When? Hold on! When was this? Hold on! Are we ignoring the fact that you just called her a hussy? Well, it's short for hustler. This is She's a little insane. But I like her. Are you serious? Yeah, buddy. Have a little listen to her. I know that you're hard on her. You think she's competition, but like I said before, your beard's just not attracted to me. And, you know, if it was... You'd be the first guy I'd be running up my flagpole. Ha ha ha! It's a yeah. good one.
she's actually super hot. Despite, you know, all the you know, tirades me and her, you know, get. You know, I don't really mean it. Seriously, Carnival, you're like throwing orange peels? Why are you so disgusting? Nobody wants a sloppy superhero, Carl. Do you understand? You could have been really hurt that last go-round. Didn't know there was going to be a Rottweiler that would bite Mike in the behind. You're just jealous because you're not a bounty hunter. I do respect you, but your heyday's over. It's time for Mike to stand in his legacy now. Back off. Are you going out with him? Listen, about that. You guys done fighting? Come on. We got serious business to talk about, guys. Let's do this. We're going to sit around all day. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Crispy pork in a little time. This feels like I'm in big trouble in Little China. Let's go, man. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, listen, I knew you didn't want me to go, but it wasn't so bad. Guy fought a little bit, but you know, hey, it's not a big deal. Do you hear anything about the other jobs? Yeah, actually, we have somebody who's really high pay and really low risk. Well, show me. Well, I will, but Carl's not invited. Whatever, we'll talk about it later, come on. Uh, okay, honestly, Mike. Oh. Mike, the siren. This has to happen. It's so long. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. It's one of my informants has not called me forever. It's bad. We gotta go check that email. Mike, this is from the district attorney's office. I see that, okay? What happened? Look, got out of control. Oh. Can I tell you about Carl? 